Hi, welcome back to KJ's channel. So that was a late night last night. I'm up this morning, gonna put in a few miles here on the treadmill. Then I have a windshield to fix, a computer to fix, and try and get some office work done before popping Dee Dee this afternoon. That's because Sharon has now decided, well, we decided together, but that she would pick up a day at the daycare again. Um, they needed some help there, and it's an opportunity to serve again. And so we're, uh, I'm going to be here on Wednesdays now. We decided to do Wednesdays because Tuesdays was just way too much. <coughs> but we decided to do Wednesdays, and so I'll be doing school here tomorrow, so I need to get as much done as I can on uh, today and Thursday. Friday, we have a special treat for the boys. We are going to go up to Fort Peck. I'll explain more about it, but there's Fort Peck Theater, and we're going to go watch Charlie Brown. So, I better get to running. I just remembered we probably have to go to Miles City on Thursday, so I don't have an office day on Thursday. Hmm. Oh, well. Normally, after the fair, it feels like things slow down a little bit, but my September and October are extremely packed with meetings leading up to our uh, annual meeting at Refresh, which is in the beginning of October. And then when that's done, we'll slow down a little bit, I do believe. Uh, my, my struggle fitness-wise is I feel like I'm supposed to take time for myself to eat properly, to work out, to get the right sleep, to get the right rest, but I also have trouble saying no when people ask me to do things. Do you have that problem too? One time I was trying to figure out timing and schedule and you know as a Christian you want to make the best use of your time you don't want to be a time waster and so I thought to myself okay well I'll do myself a schedule I'll get up at this time I'll run this do this I'll spend an hour doing Greek I'll spend an hour doing whatever and that'll work but then I realized my schedule is way too crazy for that there's so many unplanned things that happen um, but then also uh, it's really really hard to maintain that um, if you have my type of personality that becomes very very mundane and boring and it's not from a lack of discipline it's just that you don't care anymore so if I have to sit down and do an hour of Greek an hour of ukulele an hour of saxophone two or three hours of uh, reading, two or three hours of sermon prep, uh, and I have that, you know, that military mindset of it has to be done now, has to be done this, I think I'd lose a lot of the flavor of life, even though I could develop some skills a little bit better. <laughs> Let me pause for a second to pick on my brother Brian. He is one of my most faithful watchers, so I know you're hearing this, Brian. I just got done at the county attorney's office. Um, fixing their computer. When we were in the um, commissioner's meeting, uh, she told me, one of the, the ladies there told me that she needed me to come by and fix the computer because she couldn't get on the internet. So when I get there, the problem is not with the internet or the connection. The problem is there's a there was a little redirect virus that every time she opened up her browser, it would redirect to a website. And so, uh, in like five minutes, I isolated it, got rid of it, and everything's back to normal. But I told her, 
uh, yeah, you got a little virus. He was just like, I didn't think Max got virus. And I said, no, they can. It's just rare and unlikely. And when you do get one, it doesn't infect the entire system. It's usually isolated because Macs are compartmentalized. I said, and it took me five minutes to get rid of it. And I said, and you've had this computer for like 10 or 12 years, and have you ever had a virus? No. Okay, that's why. Um, so I was just picking on uh, Brian a little bit because... Uh, Max win again. Uh, last night we were at a, the Outreach Clinic meeting and we were building a new app, one of the guys there, and he is a computer guru like Brian and some of my good friends. And uh, so I gave him my illustration about if you know what you're doing and you use Windows or uh, Android and you use that stuff, you guys are amazing and you have endless possibilities. Most of us just want the thing to work. We don't care about all of the options. You know I'm just picking with you. I appreciate everything you do, and uh, I'm not switching to Mac. I'm not switching away from Mac though. Sorry. <laughs> and by the way, today is Brian's birthday, so make sure to leave him a happy birthday down in the comments so he can see all of that. Well, it's been a pretty good day so far. It is about 2.30, so I have about another hour or so here in the office before I head home for Pop and Dee Dee. We're making some plans for Sunday after church to go to the pool. We're getting some stuff done. Tomorrow is my first day of teaching school for the boys. We switched to Wednesdays um, at the daycare. Uh, Sharon will pick up a day a week again. Uh, but one of the things that I'm going to do is teach Jeremiah Greek. And so I've been doing some research about Greek classes to help him. I think we're going to start with the Bill Mounts um, Greek. But before we get into that, I ordered a, uh, a handbook or a workbook off of Amazon that should help him draw out the alphabet, kind of get to working on that a little bit. So pray for me tomorrow.